nine, yeah, hand your shit. What's up, party people? It's Zen and Carrie. Hashtag Zeri. Today we're gonna react to BTS performing on NPR, their Tiny Desk home concert. We are gonna split our reaction into three parts. So do subscribe and stay tuned for our reaction. Full disclosure. Carrie has seen this video. I have not. I think this video is what pulled me into the whole BTS rabbit hole. <laughs> and now you're a baby army. And now you're trying to convert me. And now we're checking out Save Me. Okay. Here we are. BTS. Yeah. yeah. We just play our latest single, Dynamite. Boom. It's a <laughs> that we simply wanted to share a great energy to everyone around the world. Yeah. yeah. It's the first time we are performing Dynamite yep. with a live band. Yeah. Yeah. It sounds really good. To our awesome band who's here with us today. Uh -huh. Also, we love watching Tiny Desk performances and we are very, very, very honored and excited. Mm -hmm. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! That's right. We hope everyone could also enjoy our tiny but not so tiny concert. So up next, our next song is called Save me. Yeah. Save me. Hope you enjoy it. Here we, we go. Let's go. Here we go. Please save me. Suga? Mm, yeah, Suga. Yeah. Your glasses? Yeah. So cool. Style. Are you ready? Hey. Army. Hey. hey. Can you hear me? Let's you. Let's go. <laughs> Don't wanna be lonely, just wanna be your waiting. I'm so obsessed with his voice. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> uh, if you guys didn't see our recent reaction, reacting to them performing Dynamite, I was like, oh my god! <laughs> uh, Jimin! Wow! Now that he's singing in Korean, he's so much more comfortable in it. Wow! He's really pulling out all the stops and really yeah. it, digging into the the, the the feel of the song. Okay, chorus, right? Yeah. Pause before chorus. Okay, I, I take that back. They all... <laughs> right? <laughs> no, I know what you mean by in the last video when you said that it might be easier to just recognize their tones. They all have such unique... Unique tones. Tones. I know. People like to say that, you know, boy bands are... Sound very generic. Very generic, especially yeah. K-pop. You know, K-pop gets such a bad rap because they go through like factory production line kind of process. Yeah, because they all... Because they go through training, training to and fit all that. a certain mold, basically. Exactly. Yeah. But everybody has their own individual talents and yeah, they all sound so different and so good. I think what you were saying is that they all can hit really high, so they all have this like similar voice ranges. Um, right? They actually have really wide ranges. All, all of them, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do we ever hear them like hit like really deep basses? So we react to a lot of a cappella content. And of course, in an a cappella group or in a choir, we are big choir nerds. In fact, we just came back from a choir concert. Uh, hence the... Hence the, make <laughs> the makeup and everything. Yeah, we, no we are normally not this <laughs> dolled up. So in a choir or in a a cappella group, you always have like... The, the voice parts, you know. The, the voice parts, you know, four white The tenors, the baritones, yeah. the basses. Usually not so much in a boy band because you just take turns carrying the melody and sometimes you sing the harmonies. But very rarely you will have somebody actually stand up and go like deep just because you can go deep. <laughs> right? You normally don't get that in a, a group unless maybe like Boys to Men did something. Yeah, like because that. Boys to Men are generally more a cappella ish. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Because they, they, they come from that, base, yeah. that background. But BTS or, or K-pop typically doesn't have that. So I wonder if if you guys know of Dionysus. any... Oh, they do that? They go really low. Oh. Okay, I'm excited. I actually oh, really, really love this version. 
Because uh. the original song is more EDM, EDM-ish. EDM-ish. Yeah. Uh, okay. you, you will hear it when you hit the chorus, but uh, this is more like <laughs> acapella it's... EDM, which we really, really love because that's what Pentatonix does. Yeah, <laughs> and it good. sounds, it sounds like, I'm sorry to say, but the first half, it sounds like a love-making song. Like, you know, <laughs> it, it sounds so sexy. <laughs> <laughs> is it giving no, you let's get it on vibes yeah oh yeah it does give it Marvin Gaye let's get it on and I also think it's because of the synthesizer yeah. it is playing that, that really high pitch um, like you know very sexy tones <laughs> I guess <laughs> Oh, okay, I hear it now. Oh! Oh, okay! <laughs> Dance break! Yep! Let's go. Yeah. Hey. Sugar. Sugar. All right. Yeah. Okay. That is so different from the first <laughs> half of the song. <laughs> so so different. It used to be a sort of like a pet peeve of mine, but now I'm I'm starting to get more and more. Uh, I get it more and more. Is when people use like the I, I think they call it the eight oh eight drums. The, the one that goes. Ta, 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 ta. People do that a lot nowadays in modern pop songs. It feels like it's building up when the beat drops and mm-hmm. you hit the actual chorus. It's not picking up or getting faster. Right. But now I'm starting to appreciate that that, that arrangement more because it keeps you on your toes and you're like, oh, okay, I, yeah, I see yeah, where yeah. you're going. It, <laughs> you're not going where I thought you were going. This is a surprise. A surprise yeah. Right? yeah. So it goes like, ta, 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 Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it's... Yeah, I used to hate it, but... Over, year, over the years, the more I hear it, the more you. Yeah, the more I, it I goes think it depends on, on your state of mind. Because if you expect the beat drop and it's it to go hard, right, then you kind of get disappointed when it doesn't. Yeah. Anyway, back to this. Shit, that's rap. Oh, the guitar. Sexy guitar. Who I somebody there's a sound engineer somewhere like like playing with the inputs the microphone yeah. inputs because oh the processing on the fly is like right somebody's flicking a switch I'm not sure how they do it but there's yeah. definitely somebody flicking a switch in the background <laughs> it's all these little little things that yeah, keep you yeah, on your toes exactly. and keep the song like interesting I so, think J Hope's part is one of my favorites in this song oh the, the, the yeah, one you just sang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has such a comfortable... Like, whereas the others might be like, yeah, I'm singing. J-Hope gives me the... This is what I do, all right? I'm just going to chill, and this is my voice. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, RM, let's go. Oh, right part, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so seriously, like after getting used to that, ta, 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 ba, 
Wow. It's, it's so... I can imagine hearing this in a club and it goes pop, pop, pop and then everybody just groove. <laughs> yeah, it's so fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We've it's never gone clubbing like together. Club. No, no. Yeah. I don't club. Yeah, Carrie doesn't club. I can't stand smoke. Yeah. <laughs> now we're too old for that age. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then when, when uh, Jimin came back in, I was like, oh yeah, okay, I forgot how good his voice was. Because <laughs> they all have such good voices. Just a moment. And then, you know, like, because JK usually has a very, like, smooth voice, right? Then, but, but sometimes he'll just, like, add rasp into it, and then, like, oh, yeah. it changes the tone completely. It's like, ah! Okay, RM! Let's go! Let's go! ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、